Hey guys, Vaping Donkey here, coming at you today with our hardware review. This time it's from the good guys over at OBS, and this is the Engine RTA. So today we're going to take a quick look uh, and review of the Engine RTA, a top flow, a top airflow tank. Um, what can I say? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's the box. Have a little look at that. Oil guide cotton absorbs juice itself. <laughs> so basically, it's like a bottom. A bottom uh, like the aroma miser kind of you know the juice comes up to the bottom but we'll have a look at that in the close-ups anyway so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing here so do 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 oh <laughs> uh, love it there you go there is the tank and your little screwdriver it's a hex screwdriver and you get a spare uh, glass section so take the tank out so it doesn't happen again and you take out this bad boy and you get a little booklet and a ba a, a, not a bag of spares but an actual box of spares and then there you've got cotton on a wee baggie of o-rings on this side and a thing of cotton on this side so here is a little booklet information on the engine which is pretty snazzy if you ask me take a look at that now what they show you there to do with the wicking isn't the way i've been wicking it i'll show you how i've been wicking it but more than that in the close-ups there is the breakdown of the tank i'm not going to do that because it shows it here and some information there diameter height and weight they claim it holds 5.2 mils but i think it's more around four Maybe to the very top, it would maybe hold five, but you know, not to fill straight to the top. But anyway, let's have a wee, let's get this all back together first. And we'll have a little look at the build deck and how I've been working it. Um, and a few shout outs and stuff. So here we go. Close up time. Close up time. So here is the build deck of the OBS engine. Um, a little different as you can see because there's no bottom airflow. all comes from the top. I have got a bit of a janky build in there but it's working for me. It does look, it's a little discoloured but that's just because of the juice I was using. I've cleaned the coils, the coils are fine. They are reading out to upside down Stevie. Not point two nine. Uh, nice um, Fuse cutting coils if it would focus. Come on, focus. You know what? Doesn't even want to focus for you. But there we go. So, as you can see from the deck, the four juice holes go down into that base there. And then the juice comes around the outside here and underneath and gets sucked up by your cotton. So, we're just going to wick this the way that I wick it. And yeah. I'll just show you how I've worked it, and it's been working for me. I did what they said to do in the instructions um, the first time I worked this, but I kept, it was fine with like a 60-40 and a 70-30, but when I went above 70, wasn't fine. Wasn't fine at all. So... Use your favourite cotton. Today I'm using... Actually, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using Fuzz by the Yorkshire Vapor. Awesome cotton. Go Make sure you go on the Yorkshire Vapor and check it out. Okay, there we go. There's the first one through. You all know how to do this by now. Just your favourite cotton. Pinch one side. Give it a little tug. Don't feel me now. Oh, see how easy that cotton breaks up because it's so fluffy. It's nice in there. Fluff, fluff, fluff. 
And what I like to do is I like to cut it just to the deck like so and to the deck like so nice and fluffy good cotton and then what I like to do is this is going to be hard through the lens but well, tell you what I am just going to do this towards me you actually just put it under the coil like you would an RDA that tool isn't working let's use a little screwdriver was actually been begging who showed me this. Well, he didn't show me it specifically, but I seen it on a live stream he was doing, like a live review of this. Actually, before I had this for review, and I remembered him doing it. And it worked for him, and it works for me. So hopefully it works for you too. There we go. So hopefully you can see that. So just underneath there, covering those four holes like an RDA. So let's get this just up. Today I'm going to use AVB because I can and because it is the best. Little pulse. Little pulse, suck up that juice. Little pulse, suck up that juice. Little pulse, suck up that juice. As you can see, it's a velocity style deck. Big enough post holes in it. Not the biggest, but not the smallest. And we have vapors. Nice and juiced up. Nice and clean. Boom. So to fit the tank, where did I put the tank section? There it is. So we'll get rid of this for a little section. Second, as you can see up there is your airflow. If it would focus, come on. Sorry guys about this. There we go. So as you can see, that's the airflow. And if you look, see these notches? They go with corresponding notches that are on the deck to make sure that these air flows are always above your coils, which is pretty genius. So this is a free spinning tank section off the glass. So the tank spins while the, t the whole base tightens to it so that the airflow is never off those coils. So let's get her together. Um, you'll f you'll see. Oh, if you watch carefully, you should see those notches fall into place. Oh, maybe not. There they are, there. That's it. Now, the base stays still. Or no, the base turns. And the chimney stays still. And that's it all assembled. So, like most other OBS... Uh, in fact, all OBS top fill tanks, it has the old, if I can get it up, give me a second.
Boom. Oh, there we go. The pull-up sleeve reveals a massive, massive juice intake. So let's fill this with some Mr. Sharples custard donut. Now they have eyes to fill it from the side, so I'm just going to do that for now. Show you how simple it is. I kind of wish all fill systems were like this. So it's just so simple. No messing around. Big enough for everything. I've like glass pipettes, dripper bottles, unicorn bottles. Boom! There we go. And then just push it down. Now you'll see at the top here we have one, two, three fully adjustable airflow holes. Uh, that's about where I like it for my vape. Open wide open it is a very very airy draw. I'll show you it wide open. Uh, but yeah, let's get this on uh on a device and have a vape. Cheers. So let's have a quick vape. This is it wide open all around the board. As you can see, plenty of vapor. That's a 70 watts on that 0.29 coil. So, flavor, fantastic. For the top down airflow, coming from here, hit your coil and then into your chimney, it's fantastic. Uh, the draw is swooshy. Swooshy is the word I would use. Uh, it's not turbulent at all. It is a, a pleasure to vape. Um, I close off the airflow about a quarter just for that little bit extra heat. And that intensifies the flavour for me. Really brings out the great notes in that custard donut that I'm vaping today. That Wiccan method. I've never had a dry hit, never had a flooded flooded chamber. Um, I noticed at the start when I was vaping this with the way that they recommend it, it's getting a lot of spit back uh, due to the chamber flooding. Um, maybe I didn't use enough cotton or something, but as I say, I've wicked it this way four or five times now over the week that I've had this, and it's worked every time. So that's the way I would recommend doing it. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, it's so well built as well, machined perfectly. Not a knurl, not a no machine oil. One rinse and it was ready to go. Uh, I like this drip tip. I like the shape of it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's comfortable to vape. It is just a real pleasure to vape. Um, I haven't experienced. I've never had top down airflow in a tank before, so it's a nice new experience for me and. As I say, the flavor is fantastic. It handles big builds, high wattages, lots of heat, and certainly lots of airflow to keep it cool and close it off if you want it a bit, bit warmer. So, yeah, would I recommend this? 100% gets two massive thumbs up from me. My thumbs are up. Check them out here, guys. Uh, get them in your usual stockists. Um, not sure of price or anything, but I'm sure you can find that out for yourself. You aren't stupid. Uh, but yeah, I've been vaping Dunkey. This has been the OBS engine. See ya!